All right, so this guy right here, 6.50 in the morning, laid up in bed. Normally, I get up earlier, but I, I, I had me a wake-up spell in the middle of the night, and so I went ahead and uh, laid back down and tried to get me another wink, a, wink or two, and uh, Lord of mercy, I get a call at 6.57 in the morning, and it's the guy going, hey, uh, I'm, I'm delivering the... Uh, delivering your gravel and uh hey look right here i believe that's him right there i don't know if you like that truck right there yep that's him right there shoot for i won't i won't get this hemi going brother i got a bunch of traffic for school hemi you'll get on it when you need it buddy Woo! look at us go anyway i'm sleeping in i'm sleeping in this guy calls me up and goes hey i'm leaving the gravel pit and uh, he has no idea where to dump the gravel, so I had to jump out there. Don't even have the tractor on the trailer. If you look in the back, the tractor ain't even on the trailer back there. But, hey, we, we caught him. There he goes, right there. Look at him. He's right in front of me. So, what's the odds of that? Hey, y'all seen it first on YouTube. said and done I leave you with the love when everything's going wrong choose love when they've gone too far they make you question who you are when it wrecks you on the inside Yeah, everybody knows There are times when it's so hard To choose love But why can't I stay forever And when my songs have all been sung I hope I've given all I have to you To show you how it's done Take your everything, but they can't take your love. And it might blow up in your face one day, but just love. When you feel that it might break you or literally kill you, and no. Nobody will blame you for giving up the fight. There's only one thing that lasts forever, one thing that never dies. There's only one way to cast out darkness, and that's to shine a light. So we made it. He's gonna pull up here. And uh let's see here, he's gonna pull right around there and, and dump the gravel. Three in a row. Got three truckloads coming this morning. How ironic. This guy, this guy's in one of my other videos way back when we were building the pool. Uh he uh he brought all the gravel out for that that video as well. All right, I'm gonna give you the down and dirty on this laser level. So we got it set up level. We're gonna leave it there today. That's our reference point. We found the highest point in the in this area of our, our the pad that we're gonna build the barn on. So what I've done is I measured to the highest point and then I added six inches to it because I want at least six inches of gravel crush run here. So I want six inches here. So once I get the crush run at six inches here, obviously out here we're gonna to get we may have to have some more gravel we'll just work our way out so to get out here
Yeah, we're looking at probably 12 inches of gravel right here. Maybe 14. So all I'm gonna do right now is just grab the grass and pull it away. So we're, we're paying for this as we go. We've saved up some money, we've got some money put back for this project, but we, we weigh everything with cost. So our, our, our dilemma is now, do we dig down here and save some money and then have a more level pad to start with and not have to ha have as much gravel or do we go ahead and put a foot and a half of gravel, the crush run here, I keep saying gravel, it's not gravel, it's crush run. And we could compact this and make this like, it's, you know, it's just gonna be super hard. So we are gonna go that way because if we dig down over on the other side, it's higher. Uh, and if uh, it's higher behind it, so it's gonna cause additional drainage problems if we dig down any further. So I think we're just gonna go ahead and, and buy a couple more truckloads of gravel. All right, so I got a gentle, a gentle lay of the land here from the side. You can actually see the grade a little bit better if you go back further. But, you know, I'm just gonna kind of get a, a, the measurement stick and go through and just check it out real quick. Pretty close. so we've got a good start here just got a uh, call from service rental the packer the you know the little rollers is in stock and we're going to go and uh, pick that up and then that way as we put the gravel down we'll just pack it as we go that way we're we're not doing it you know having to i think it'll do better if we put it up put it in layers and pack it as we go so let's go do that We got a lot done today. We went and got the, we, we could have done a little bit more, but we went and got some rental equipment. We got the uh, packer 
and that's going to make this so much better as we go. Got a lot of gravel moved, and uh, we'll come back tomorrow. I tell you, this uh, T four seventy four is a great like tractor for I say a landscaping company. It does a lot of work uh, for its size. I mean, we're moving a ton. We move, let's say we're probably we got seventy two tons of gravel today. We end up getting another load out here, and we probably got about thirty maybe 30 tons left. So we've, we've moved a lot of gravel in just about three hours. So listen, I really appreciate you watching our channel. Stay tuned for the next one and you'll see us continue on with this. God bless and have a great day.